Suppose on the Pacific Ocean you are on a boat or on a nice sea, but if you have no controlling capacity, uh, one wave of that Pacific Ocean can immediately uh, bring you to the bottom of the sea. So this, this is required. We are in the midst of the Pacific Ocean of this mic uh, world. Samsara samudra. It is called samudra. So at any moment our boat can be topsy tidy if we have no controlling power. Yes. Therefore, O mighty arm, one who senses are restrained from their office is certainly a steady intelligence. Yes. Now, the one whose sense uh, are restrained. This human life is meant for restraining the senses. Tapa, this is called tapasya, penance. Suppose I am habituated to some type of sense gratification. Now I take to Krishna consciousness. My spiritual master or the scripture says, don't do this. So in the beginning I may feel some inconvenience. But if you can tolerate that, that is tapasya. That is tapasya. Tapasya means I am feeling some inconvenience bodily, but I am tolerating. And that is called tapasya. And this human form of life is meant for that tapasya. Not that because my senses are demanding this satisfaction, I shall immediately offer. No. I shall train myself in such a way that my senses may demand, my dear sir, give me this facility. I will say, no, you cannot have. This is called Goshami or Sam. At the present moment, uh, where everyone, we are, uh, we have made our Sami or Master, the senses, and when you actually become the Master of the senses, then you are Sam. Or Goswami. That is the significance of Swami and Goswami. It is not the dress. Uh, one who has controlling power, one who is not dictated by the senses, one who is not servant of the senses. Uh, my, my tongue is dictating, please take me to that restaurant and eat sticks. What is that stick? Sticks? Set. What is that spelling? Uh, so anyway, or that fried chicken. Yes. So tongue is dictating. But if you can control your tongue, no, I'll give you sweet balls. Don't go there. Then you become master of the sense. The others are trying that don't go there only. Oh, that is impossible. The tongue must have something beautiful. Otherwise it is not possible. That is artificial. Oh. If the tongue you give it something more beautiful than this fried cheek or cheek or cheek or that, it will stop. Oh. That is the policy. Our policy is that. Uh, we can give oh, that uh, what is Cajun mm. fried with rice? Uh, how nice it is! You we'll forget meat eating. Uh, so this is the policy, Krishna consciousness. Uh, all the senses should be supplied something, not artificially stop it. That is not possible. 
That is not possible. Others, they are simply trying artificially to stop the function of the senses. No, that is not possible. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna.